Welcome to Apex Legends everyone, a game where every match is a roller coaster of intensity, laughter, frustration and pure satisfaction. If you're just starting out, I know it can feel like there is so much to learn. That's where I come in. I'm a Valkyrie main and today I'm sharing my best tips to you to help you master basics faster, build solid habits and start taking those wins. From settings to aim to perfecting your legends, I've got you covered. So let's jump in. So first, warm-ups. Start each session by heading into the firing range for about 5 minutes. Practicing here will help you dial in your aim, get a feel for weapon switching and warm up your reflexes. Test different attachments, but make sure you practice without them as well, since you won't be able to always find them when you start with your match. So make sure you enable moving targets in your firing range and settings you can do that by holding your tab button and it will get you here in the settings where you can enable that, copy the rest of my settings so you can get the most out of this training. Then I recommend to practice tracking the moving targets and this will make it a lot more faster. Work on quick adjustments by switching between weapons or holstering a weapon, then re-equipping them and rapidly doing that and it will make a huge difference in consistency once you jump in the real matches. The only movement that you should learn in the beginning is actually tracking those targets and mirroring their movement as well as slide jumping all the time, just please slide jump on every occasion that you have. This will boost your speed and you will not be a running duck for the other players to snipe down with one shot. Always move left and right when you're running, always slide jump and go around the corners, always go closer to walls, don't go in the open and that's all that you need to know about movement. Cause not even a wall jump or super glide will help you if you don't figure out your settings first. Which brings me to our next tip, which is experimenting with sensitivity and key bindings. Now let's talk about sensitivity settings and key bindings, which are key to controlling your aim and movement in Apex. Here's the thing, the default key bindings in most games, including Apex Legends, may seem fine, but I learned the hard way, they are not very good and ideal for me, especially if you want to master movement techniques later, which are some of the best parts of Apex game mechanics. So one tip I strongly recommend is to adjust your aim down side button. Rather than standard right click on your mouse, Try assigning it to some key on your left hand, like left shift or caps lock, depending on your finger length and your keyboard. For me, aiming with left shift feels more natural and let me keep a stable grip, especially when I'm quickly aiming in and out of sight. So if you want to copy my settings, I personally use right click to crouch, hold crouch actually, and shift for aiming. And don't stop there, experiment with crouch hold, cycle weapon, holster weapon keys too. And find a setup that feels right for your style. This way you're not only optimizing your aim, but also opening up options for advanced movement down the road. Trust me, finding a key layout that's comfortable and efficient will take your gameplay to the next level. A lot of players overlook event modes, but they are actually great for practicing high pressure situations and reacting fast. These modes are often quicker paced, letting you to sharpen your reflexes 
and improve your decision-making skills without worrying about your rank. Use them as a low-stakes way to try out new strategies, legends or weapons. You'll improve faster and build your confidence, which translates into better plays when it counts. As of right now, we are in season 24 and the ongoing events like Control, Gun Run, Team Deathmatch, they offer some exciting challenges. These modes are always active, but there is a limited time events that are occurring from time to time, especially what you need to look for is a revival event. This limited time event is perfect for experimenting with strategies or even grinding for special rewards, so make sure you check everything out. And since the whole community wants arenas and revival modes to get back to Apex, I'm sure they will bring it back in some time. Recently, just a couple of days ago, there was one revival event active and here is what happened. So you need to just hold your crouch button if you get down and respawn until your last teammate gets down. So if you get knocked down in a revival event, please hold your crouch button and just respawn so you can go back and help your teammates. But before you even start, it's very important to know how to choose the right legend for you. So choosing the right legend makes a huge difference in your performance. Each legend has unique abilities that will be preferred by different kind of playstyle. If you're into aggressive plays, try Octane or Wraith, Mad Maggie or Fuse. But if you prefer a more defensive approach, look into Gibraltar or Caustic, Lifeline, Watson and similar. And instead of switching legends every game, stick with one or two that you like for a few matches in the row. This will help you understand their strengths, weaknesses and timing with their abilities. Support legends like Lifeline, Gibby and Newcastle are particularly strong this season. Lifeline especially shines in her newest updated Reborn version, with game-changing buffs that made her an essential part of any team. She can heal faster, revive teammates with shields and even push enemies back with her ultimate. When playing Lifeline, keep an eye on your teammates' health bars at all times. Knowing when to push forward or pull back is a key to being a great support player. So if you'd like, I could create a detailed guide focused solely 
on how to master Lifelines Reborn version. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested and I will make sure to make a video about that also. Our next tip is to develop your own playstyle. Tip number 5. Play to your strengths and develop a style that feels natural. There is so many ways to play Apex Legends. And while it's tempting to mimic other players, focusing on what you're good at is far more effective. Some players excel at aggressive, up-close fights, while others are better with positioning and picking off opponents from a distance. Play a few games to find what works best for you. As you build your skills, lean into your strengths but stay adaptable to keep improving. And this brings me to my first bonus tip for you guys. So Apex Legends is all about teamwork and good communication can make all the difference. Use pings, this is your middle mouse button in the beginning, to mark enemies, loot or positions to keep your team in sync without relying on the voice chat. I can understand that, especially in Europe, we are all from different countries, we all talk different languages. This can be very challenging when you go into a game, somebody is, two guys are talking different language and you don't understand nothing. You don't know how to tell them something, you can use your pings. It's a simple but effective way to share information and it helps build a sense of team unity. When starting out, try to stay close to your teammates and observe their movement and decisions. Good communication, even non-verbal, is one of the best skills that you can develop for a long-term success in Apex Legends. And the second bonus tip for you guys that not many people talk about, but I promise you that pros are doing it. Using virtual training apps. When I started Apex Legends, I noticed my aim wasn't improving as fast as I wanted. Between looting, running and waiting in the lobby, I wasn't getting enough time to focus on my aim. So I started using 3D Aim Trainer, which is free on Steam and it works perfectly with Apex Legends. You can all play it, it's very good. Think of it this way. To master any skill, you need to do it perfectly 10,000 times. Aim Trainer will help you build the muscle memory faster because you're focused only on the aim training without any downtime. I recommend practicing in any virtual trainer for about 5 or 10 minutes daily which will make a noticeable difference with your aim. It will allow you to react faster and control your aim better. I especially recommend practicing tracking routines which mimics the fast erratic movement of high level Apex players. Using this 3D aim trainer for just 5 or 10 minutes daily can make a noticeable difference, allowing you to react faster and control your aim better. So this strategy helped me level up fast and I'm sure it can help for you too. And that wraps up my ultimate beginner's guide to Apex Legends. With these tips, you're well on your way to improve quickly, gaining confidence and enjoying the game even more. If this guide helped, please like, subscribe and let me know your favorite tip in the comments. Also, don't forget to comment if you'd like a dedicated guide on Lifeline's new Reborn update or any other legend. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you in the arena.